The same system that spawned all of those deadly tornadoes in the Midwest is now heading towards the Northeast. Meteorologist Megan Glaros of our Chicago station, WBBM, is tracking the fast-moving and potentially damaging storms. Much of the Midwest recovering from a powerful line of storms that rolled through the area in the evening and even in, through portions of the overnight. Now, it looks like that line of storms is going to continue progressing on off towards the East Coast. It's just a system that will likely bring a change in temperature. Now, another quick-moving little snowmaker will likely roll through the Midwest and on off to the East Coast tomorrow. So that major storm system from yesterday losing steam as it heads eastward. That being said, yesterday Yesterday was in the 60s for Chicago. Now today, dropping to 41 degrees. We're talking about 28 degrees in Fargo today, 51 degrees around Albuquerque, Los Angeles at 75. Now for today, the temperature in New York City, 71, 77 degrees in D.C. and 80 in Charlotte. After today's cold front, we are left with much chillier temperatures for the second day of March. Tomorrow's high, just 50 in D.C., 47 degrees around New York City, 37 degrees in Chicago. Now, that being said, we do anticipate seeing likely a big increase in temperatures once again going into the weekend, but certainly dealing with that blast of colder air as it begins to settle in. And again, we are not really looking at as much in the way of watches, warnings, and advisories for the system as it progresses eastward. As I said, it's lost a lot of its steam, so it will be a big temperature punch going from the 70s to the 40s with this system. But much of all of the devastation and all of the severe weather that was across the Midwest has been left in the Midwest as the system dies out progressing on off to the east. Meg, Errol.